everyone I'm Chirag and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to cover how to configure and use Amazon Code Whisperer within AWS Lambda console. And if you want to learn about Amazon Code Whisperer then please refer to the video on Amazon Code Whisperer overview that I have posted before some time. And I have posted the link of it in the video description. So here as you can see on my screen I have logged in into the AWS management console using two separate accounts. On the right side, I'm logged in within AWS using the admin account. And on the left side, I'm logged in within the AWS using a user called Chirag. And this user has following permission that is AWS Lambda full access and IAM user change password. So now you might have a question that why I am logged in with two separate accounts. So as we go along, you will understand that uh, what was the need of the admin account here. So let me maximize this browser. And here within this AWS management console where I'm logged in with the username Chirag, we are going to create the Lambda function. So let's navigate to Lambda management console. Click on create function. Give the function name. I will enter code whisperer demo. I will select runtime as Python 3.10. Within permission, I'm going to select use an existing role and within existing role, I'm going to select lambda underscore role. I will show you what all permission this role has in the moment. And once you select the role, click on create function. So here we have successfully created the lambda function and as a next step, we are going to enable Amazon code whisperer for this lambda function. So to enable that functionality, you need to scroll down to code source and click on tools and click on Amazon code whisperer code suggestions. Now, as soon as you click on that, it will ask you to accept this terms and conditions. So you need to click on accept. And now if you click again on tools, then you will be able to see this small tick mark in front of Amazon code whisperer. That means Amazon code whisperer is enabled for this Lambda. So now let's test it out. So here I will simply say hash create a function to read CSV using pandas. I will press enter and to get the suggestion you need to press option C if you are on Mac or in case if you are on Windows then you need to press alter C. As soon as I pressed option C, it threw an exception saying user is not authorized to perform code whisperer generate recommendation because no identity based policy allows the code whisperer generate recommendation actions. That means the user with which I am logged in with that is Chirag does not have the permission to the API that is generate recommendation. So I will quickly show you again. So here it says that user Chirag does not have access to code whisperer generate recommendation API. So Chirag as a user cannot invoke or call that particular API in order to get the suggestions. So for that we need to provide the permission to the specific user so he or she can call the code whisperer generate recommendation API. So now since we do not have the permission who can provide this permission? We ourselves or the Chirag as a user cannot create the policy and assign it to himself in order to gain access to the generate recommendation. So I need to ask the admin to provide me the permission so that I can invoke generate recommendations API. So in that case, I will navigate to the admin account, which is over here. I will click on policies to create a new policy. So click on policies. Click on create policy. Here we want to create a policy which can allow user to access code whisperer service from the Lambda console. So within service, we will select Amazon code whisperer. Once you select the service, you need to select the actions for which you want to provide the access. So in our case, I will expand list. We do not want to provide any action with respect to list. I will expand read. So within read, I want to provide access for the generate recommendations. Okay, so I'm going to check it. 
and then I'm going to leave rest of the option as it is because we don't want to provide any access with respect to tagging or with respect to the write. As a next step within resource, it says the actions you choose support all resources. So that means this will be available for all the resources. And if you click on JSON, so this is how the policy looks like. Now, once you are done with this, click on next tags, add the tags, click on next review, provide the policy name. I will say code whisperer access click on create policy now in order to provide permission to the user chirag we need to attach this policy as a part of the permission for that user so click on users from the left panel open the user to whom you want to provide the access so in my case it's chirag and then click on add permissions click on add permissions again I will select the third option that is attach policies directly and here I will search for code underscore whisperer underscore access. So this is the policy that I want to attach because this will provide the permission to the user Chirag for generate recommendations. So select this click on next click on add permissions by adding this permission the admin has successfully given access to the user Chirag for code whisperer. Now if I go back to that another console and here if I click on tools again then the Amazon Code Whisperer is already enabled and now if I press option C then I should be able to see the recommendation. So it says no code recommendations available. So in that case what we will do we will say import pandas as pd and then again we will come back here we will press option C and it started recommending or suggesting so it says read underscore csv with the parameter file name i will say enter i will press option c for the next recommendation and it says return pd.read csv and file name right so what we asked we asked create a function to read csv using pandas and it did for us let's try another recommendation so let me import boto3 Here I will say implement function to let me maximize this first implement function to upload file to S3 press enter then press option C or alt C here is our code recommendation press tab to accept that again press option C And here is our function to upload a file to S3 bucket. Similarly, let's try one more example. Here I will say extract text from text tract detect underscore text response. So text track is basically a service which helps you to extract information from PDF and images and detect underscore text is one of the function of the text track service. I have covered multiple tutorials on the text track service. If you are interested, then link is in the video description. Now, once you are done with this, press enter option C and here is your code recommendation option C again. So sometimes you need to fix this indentation, but that is fine. Okay, so this is how our code looks like for extraction of the text from the detect underscore text response. And this is the valid implementation. Okay, so this is how you can enable Amazon Code Whisperer within your Lambda console. In case if you are logged in with different user and if you see that particular error that you are not authorized to perform generate recommendation, then you need to ask your administrator to enable or to provide that permission to your user ID. So then you will be able to generate the recommendation after the permission is provided. And apart from this, I also wanted to show you the IAM role for this Lambda function. So I'll click on configuration, click on permissions. And here, if I click on the resource summary, then this IAM role has two permission attached. That is Amazon CloudWatch logs and Amazon S3. So code whisperer permission works at the user level and not the IAM role level of particular Lambda function. Apart from this, I would like to highlight few points with respect to the code whisperer. 
So there is no additional charge for using Code Whisperer within Lambda console. And within Lambda console, Code Whisperer only supports functions which are using Python and Node.js as runtimes. Code Whisperer in Lambda function does not support code references feature. And when you use Code Whisperer within Lambda function, any code suggestion with references are omitted. And on top of that, you also cannot use security scan feature of the code whisperer from your Lambda function. Now coming to the data sharing part. So when you use code whisperer within Lambda function or Lambda console, code whisperer does not share your content and client side telemetry with AWS. And again, I would like to reiterate that in case if you are receiving the error that is particular user is not authorized to perform code whisperer colon generate recommendation while accessing the code whisperer feature within Lambda console, then please reach out to your administrator to get the access. So guys, that's all for this video. Until that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.